I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American ledger book drawing. I take one finger on the left, put a dot on top, put a dot down below, put a dot, and to the right, put a dot. Now we're going to try and draw straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, connect, Straight line up, straight line over, straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, and connect. Right up here at the top, we're just going to draw a straight diagonal down, little straight line, straight diagonal up, connect. Right here starting at the top we draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect. 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 Come right about here midpoint. Watch what I do. I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, straight diagonal up, down, slightly curved line, straight diagonal up, down, straight line out, curve line, curve line over, curve line, curve line, and stop. Right here, I'm going to go draw a straight line, straight line down, straight line over, straight line on top, connect. Right here, I draw a curve line, curve line, straight line inside. And on the right hand side, right here, I just draw a curve line connect. I come inside on top and I draw a zigzag, zigzag. And now over here, I'm going to come and jump over, draw a straight diagonal, curve line, jump over, don't draw through your drawing, curve line. I come on this top part and I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, jump over, out, in, out, keep going all the way down and connect. Right here at the bottom, I'm going to draw a curve line, jump over, curve line, connect. Inside each one of these spaces, I'm going to go zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay, now, right even with this, let's put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line around, up, over, connect. Right about here we just draw a straight line down. Now inside the space, curve line down, curve line up, 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 and let's put a curve line down, curve line up. We're going to mimic that round Curve line all the way around, keep going. And now we're going to go zigzag, 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 zigzag on each of those spaces. Now come right up here, let's put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line out, in, curve line down, in and leave it floating. Right about here we're going to draw a big curve line up, curve line over, curve line back, and connect. Come over here on top and we're just going to draw straight line, straight line, curve line up, curve
curve line up and connect zigzag 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 on top and now zigzag zigzag on the inside right about here we draw a curve line curve line straight line inside come over here and we're just going to draw a curve line out little curve line curve line up connect curve line out in up connect one more curve line out in up connect put a little curve line on these bottoms okay now that you've drawn that you can come back over here and we're going to take this line jump over bring it all the way down and off the page come over here on this line and we're going to draw curve line off the page come over here on this part and we're just going to draw slightly curved line connect okay I think that's all you know how I am I don't know it until we start coloring okay let's see how we are going to color this in okay the first thing I'm going to do is color in all of my brown and this space is all going to be brown if you have different colored browns that would be great but if you're like me and you don't it's okay you can just use this brown and use it coloring it dark or coloring it light so this whole space is going to be brown and you know how I like to color all the spaces when I have them browns will color all the browns so this is all brown this whole space you'll do a better job than me obviously and this is all brown okay and this little part right here is brown and this is all brown okay alright next I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color this space black. I'm going to color this space black. I'm going to color this space black. All the way down. I'm going to color this space black. And I'm going to color all the bottom zigzags these also are going to be black okay then I come over here and I'm going to color my zigzag black an A B A B pattern I am going to color these zigzags down here on the shield this is all going to be black at the bottom and I think that's all <clears throat> Now I'm switching over to my brown and I'm going to color. Oops, I knew I forget something. There should be a little baby circle right here. But this all is going to be dark brown. Okay. And I think that's it for that. Now I'm going to start adding my color. <clears throat> Now, taking my regular blue, I'm going to color around this upper space because this is face paint that's put on. This is going to be blue. This half of my shield, the space, is going to be blue. And my little baby circle that's going to be blue then with my red I'm going to color this space red I'm going to color this space red this space red this space red okay 
and then I come in with my yellow and I'm going to color the bottom parts yellow on this space and extremely important I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color I'm going to put straight lines because the paper that the Native Americans were using were from old ledger books which is in the old days when people didn't have computers they used to keep tallies of food that they had bought or money that had come in and when they were done with them they would give the old books to the Native Americans who would then color over what was just written okay now I went ahead and did a zigzag with my crayon zigzag all the way around zigzag all the way around now you don't have to do this this is what I did and what I did was is I colored solid the bottom parts on the bottom and again you guys will do way better I'm doing this way too fast and up here, I did the top zig of my zigzag. And I'm using blue, green, turquoise. Okay. Then I did this section of my zigzag all the way around. And this just gives you a, a finished border because they would do that also in their artwork okay then once I've done that I just come in and I do red straight lines on the part that is the zag instead of the zig all the way around just a straight line of color all the way around then I come back in with my black and I do little black lines next to the red all the way around keep going keep going now like I said you guys will do a way better job this is just what I did you could do a solid border if you wanted to but I really feel that it needs to have some kind of frame to it because that is pretty much what the pictures would look like in these ledgers. Okay? Alright. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here um, is my Native American drawing in a ledger book all completed. Okay, bye-bye.